So in regards to my last video, somebody said, so you'll never put your baby daddy on child support. And the answer is no. Let me tell you why. I'll never put my baby father on child support because I have to deal with this man for eternity. If only this was the case in every man's predicament. Hey, what's up everybody? In this video, I want to talk to y'all about why women use child support as a weapon. We're not gonna say that they always do this, but majority of the time it's a woman, you know, out there putting a man on child support. So I feel like most of the time they're using it as a weapon to get what they want. The way I'm gonna do this video goes as following. The first part of this video, I'm gonna give y'all my four reasons, my four quick reasons why they do it. And then after that, I want y'all to take these same reasons, I'm gonna play these clips, and then I want y'all to look at these same reasons and see where they fall in line and see was I pretty accurate when it comes to that. And if you wanna show your support for me, make sure y'all hit that subscribe button. First reason that I have that women be putting men on child support is because they living off of it. I'm not trying to say that this is always the case, but if, say for example, the man was rich and everything, like a basketball player, football player, he making you know millions of dollars, so the the, the courts ordered him to pay about ten thousand a month in child support. What the what does a, a a kid need with ten thousand a month to maintain his lifestyle? He don't need ten thousand dollars a month. But more than likely, the mother is definitely surviving off of that. Like if I had ten thousand a month, you think I'd need to go to work? No. So I know this kid could get in daycare for a, a real low cost. They could live in a regular house, but. She got 10,000 a month to survive off of that. So my second reason that I feel that women put men on child support is because they're bitter and they want you to suffer. I know that sounds like a petty thing to say, but come on, man. It is women out here that don't want you to find happiness and they don't like that you are trying to get ahead of your life. So they will do what it takes to knock you down the peg in order for you to be screwed over and you never succeed. While this could be a good thing for one party, more than likely it's never good for the next person. But, you know, what they say, the battle of the beast, you know, neck to neck, y'all going at it. So somebody got to lose in this predicament. If I was in this predicament and it had to be me or a woman going to child support, come on, man. I'm not about to be the one paying the money. If I could fight it, I'm going to fight it. I'm not about to go out like, like a little turkey. Like, I'm going out swinging. So... You say whatever you want. Somebody got to lose and somebody about to be held back and screwed. So I'm going to do everything in my power to make sure I win. And the final reason that a woman will put a man on child support would be none of the reasons above. So far we know, it could be some, you know, something in the background happening. Like maybe the girl got a new relationship and a boyfriend like, you know, whispering in the ear like, look, our life could be a little bit better if you just put him on child support. She just go along with it. Like, okay. You know, so those, those are my four reasons. Now let's start the video. Sir, what do you do for a living? I'm a truck driver. Truck driver. How much money do you make? I make roughly maybe 82 a year. Help me make sense of this. You give her $1,000 a month for the children. You pay health insurance. You all have a split schedule. Yes, ma'am. I'm, I'm missing something. So like what it is, Your Honor, she, he's spending money on. She never lets me talk. So. Okay, I'm going to let you talk. Exactly. Okay. What it is, Your Honor, she's, uh, she didn't mention this, but she's engaged. Wow. And she just found out that I'm recently dating, so now she's mad at me. Oh, I'm mad. There I'm goes mad. the Very conflict. Bad. I'm not mad. I'm not mad. There goes the conflict. I'm now, I mad. asked what was the disconnect here. It was something missing. So you brought him to court because he has a new girlfriend? No, ma'am. I'm not That's mad That's exactly why, Your Honor. And you're engaged? Yes, ma'am. He still gonna want to marry you after he see what you're doing to this man? So after hearing this clip, this man making $84,000 a year, of all the four things I listed, which one of these things that y'all think applies to his situation? Me personally, I believe it was number two. She basically was bitter and wanted him to suffer. All he tried to do was get in a relationship and all of a sudden, she gonna put this man on child support. That's pretty petty, like, you about to be engaged. Why in the world can't this man live his life and move up and be happy the same way that you are? If you really are in love and trying to be engaged with this man that you're supposed to be with, you need to be focusing and staying in your lane. Leave this man alone, let him live. Where you going, where you going, uh-huh? 1200 a week now. It's over. Yep. You want to take care of that girl, your little new girlfriend, and her kids. Now, yes, yes, yes. Because you got me messed up. You got me messed up. I don't care. 
I don't care. You, don't care. you taking care of other people's kids. You get 12 I don't care. For what? Yes, 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 because I need all that money. I need it all. I need every I penny I can house. get. Yep. You now you can see your kids once a week instead of seeing them all the time. So whenever you feel like it. Once a week every oh, well, oh, at least I'm getting paid. At least I'm getting paid. Did oh, you, you want to be laid up with some other girl? Uh huh. Yeah, you got me messed up. Now, you stop, you stop doing that. no, no, there, no, because like, that's what you get. You embarrass me. You, you, you embarrass me. You embarrass me. See them, they all you embarrassing me. me. I don't care. I don't care. They could look all they want. Oh, well. I can't believe you, dog. Oh, well. Now, yeah, 1200 a week. Right, like, yeah. Right, no, I'm going to egg this one on. Yep, I'm going to be buying plenty. Man, that is so messed up. Like, this man is paying 12 a week. Like, bro, you must be making a lot of bread for you to be forking that over to this woman. So, with that being said, of all the four things I have on this list, which of these things do you think apply to their situation? Me, personally, I believe... I feel like number one, which is she's living off of that money. Like, come on, 12 a week? She don't need no 12 a week, man. That's one of them. Number two, I feel like she is a bitter woman and wants to screw this man over. Based on what she was saying, she's sitting there bragging to him out 12 a week, 12 a week. And then she also mentioned that he has another girl and taking care of them kids. So now she wants to make him suffer. So that ties to the next thing. She wants to hold him back. Number three, I feel like this woman, you know, falls in the line of all these categories right here because she want to make sure that this dude's life is a living hell. So in regards to my last video, somebody said, so you'll never put your baby daddy on child support. And the answer is no. Let me tell you why. I'll never put my baby father on child support because I have to deal with this man for eternity. Okay. It's not just 18 years. Like life doesn't just stop at that. No. I, until I'm gone, he's gone, or the baby's gone, we have to communicate because I believe in family. So until one of those things happen, that man needs to be your friend. Now, I'm not saying you got to sleep with him or you still got to be with him or you got to follow his direction. No, but it pays to build a friendship with that man. And you can't build a friendship when you get the courts involved to put him on child support to make these small ass payments because you're low key living off the payments. And some pe women aren't. They really support the child with the payments. But for the ones that don't, they collect the child support to be spiteful and to, you know, try to help maintain their life. I'm not built for that. OK, I would rather just work a little bit harder and deal with the headache of having to work a little bit harder. Or so after hearing her clip and her statement, do y'all feel like any of these things we mentioned applies to her situation? No, of course not. For anything, she is saying the same stuff that I already said. She said she wouldn't even put a man on child support. She would rather be his friend and work through it. But most of, most of the people out here, they'd rather just screw you over versus working with you. Like... Come on, man. I'm not trying to say you got to be this man's best friend, but instead of having these back and forth battles and, you know, involving children, the best thing I recommend that a person does is just learn to stay cordial for the sake of the children. So what is y'all take on these women and, you know, other people putting people in child support in order to give them, you know, the thing in the mouth to screw them over? Let me know in the comments. So leave a like, a comment, or subscribe. This your boy Cole Labs, and I'm out.